All right, as promised in the last video, we're gonna do uh, in this video some couple more 89 clear rack packs. Um, a 62 tops Christmas rack and some more 24 chrome. Let's see if we hit a little better in the chrome this time. I think we did the chrome last in the video about 10 days ago, so we'll do it first this time. So these same same packs I opened, but it was, I think, seems like people enjoyed the variety of stuff and <clears throat> so I'm gonna do this <clears throat> again. See if we get a hit in this one. That would be kind of fun to do. So 2024 Tops Chrome. I guess the hot product right now is update because potential for skeins. We didn't get a skeins in our Donner's pack we opened in the last video, did we? Uh, Beaver. Andrew Benatendi. Patrick Bailey, one of these Ray, Ray Waves, Chris Murphy, rookie, Chris Sale, and oh yeah, you get a bunch of these uh, X-Fractors in this Matt McLean rookie cup. Say what that is. Nope. Sometimes they'll say if it's like refractor. Oh, that's a refractor of the sale. Okay. See? See, I can't see these. A lot of people can just see it's a refractor, but to me, the shiny looks like the shiny. I guess there's kind of a rainbow hue to that. Yeah, but yeah, I tend to miss stuff like that. Lipsius? I don't know how to pronounce that. Rookie. Tyler Cropley, rookie. Kyle Tucker. See, are any of these refractors? Nope. An all etch of uh, Bobby Witt. That's cool. Charlie Blackman, X-Fractor, and Salvador Perez. So we got two in that pack. Jordan Wicks, rookie. Shohei. Well, that could be worth what uh, for the MVP buyback, right? That's right. That is right. Uh, J.P. Crawford. Ryan Pepio. Let's see, is this a refractor? Yeah, I could see it this time. Look at that. And it's a gunner. Rookie Cup Refractor. Hey, I could see it that time. See, it says right there for the people like me who can't, usually. And Tyler Glass now in the X-Fractor. Did not know he was on the Doctors now. All right. And next up. Drew Rome. Rookie. Alan... Winnens, Winans, rookie. Vladdy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. That is that is cool, cool. And Ellie, summertime in the park, rookie. 
Okay, I think that's my first Ellie rookie. That's cool. All right, Grayson Rodriguez, some sort of... Um, cross hetchy shimmery type deal and Mookie Betts. Awesome. Let's put that Ellie up there. That's cool. Look at that. All right. Austin Wells, rookie. Mickey Moniak. Joe Musgrove. Emerson Hancock and the Wavy, Ray Wave, I think it's called, rookie. Cool looking. Tristan Casas and Yanir Cano and the X Fractors. Hey, I'll put the Shohei up, but that's. I'm pretty sure that'll be good for the. eligible for the uh, buyback. Trey Cabbage, rookie. Andrew McCutcheon. Brian Reynolds. Matt Olson, that's a refractor, right? Look at that. And I got an autograph. Rookie. It's a rookie pitcher, but hey. Out of just a random mega box. Matt Crook. And it's a refractor auto. Dang. Okay, put on my model training, model train building goggles here. And I think I knocked a pool cue chalk on the floor. Let's see. He has been around a long, long time in the minors. How old are you? 94. So I get a rookie auto of a 30 year old pitcher. All right, well, I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? How did you do? Oh, a war of minus 0. 0.4. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe somebody's high on this guy. All right. So we got an auto, though. Oh, it's serial number two. Look at that. I missed that. See, I might have missed some serial numbering on the other stuff, too. So they make it so subtle. They need to make it more obvious. 201 out of 499. All right. I mean, I shouldn't sound like I'm complaining because I never pull autos because I never open product where you can get autos and an Austin Riley extractor and last pack that was fun this is fun okay I put my goggles down uh Zach Remillard rookie Adley Rushman Cody Bellinger another all etch this time of Mookie Cool looking card. Jung Hu Lee, X Fractor, and Jack Lighter, rookie, X Fractor. Cool. All right. That was a fun opening. It really was. Um, I'm going to do the Fleer next and then save the um, 62 rack. For last just i think this is reverse order of what i did last time so let's see if we do better in this flare pack i have not pulled a f face error in a long time probably since i was a kid so it'd be really fun to pull one of those also the value on those just it blows my mind i mean in a 10, that's worth more than the Griffey rookie in a 10, in the Fleer, at least. So, let's just open all of them, both packs, and we'll just go through the six cells. So, it's like opening six packs, right? 42 cards, right? That's a little bit of a, would be a 14-card pack instead of a 15-card pack. And on these, you don't know what's on back because there's a sticker on the back. So, we don't need to be doing the, pull the back card forward for be surprised of what's in the middle. All right, let's start with the cell. Andy Allenson. Danny Jackson. 
And I used to love Fleer backs, just the the unique little stat type breakdown. They Sometimes they put like his hot and cold hitting zones and things like that on the backs of Fleer. And this one is the uh, pre and post all-star break records. And then a lot of stats. Danny Jackson, Mark Salas, Joe Price, Mike Smithson, Wes Lancaster, Glenn Braggs, Terry Clark, Steve Lombardozzi, Frank DePino, Chet Lemon, Lance McCullers, Joe Girardi, rookie, and Mike Davis, and White Sox sticker. All right, let's grab this deck. Nick Asaski, Rex Hudler, Mario Diaz, Scott Geralt without glasses. He usually had glasses in all his um, cards. Steve Searcy, this guy I think was a hot prospect back then. I think in the 89 tops, he was a uh, Future Stars card. Tim Leary, Oswaldo Peraza, Bob Nepper. So far, this is, uh, I'd say, cool. it's cool. Um, not much better than the, well, we had some Hall of Famers in the last 289 Fleer racks that we opened, didn't we? I got a second Seiko aside, I guess. I guess. Pico, Roberto Kelly, Ricky Jordan. I think that's a rookie. Oda B. McDowell, Glavin, second year. That'll work. That's kind of cool. And there. Well, we really don't have many Stan Worthy. Well, ooh, be careful of the alley. Don't, don't mess up the alley. Um, so most of the 62 tops I'm going to be putting on stands, so I don't need to worry about filling out stands with Fleer. Odell Jones. Gary Thurman, Mackie Sasser, Mel Hall, Rob Murphy, Dan Pasqua. <laughs> Sorry, this is boring. Dravecki, Kevin Romine. I mean, I love opening cards, so this is not boring for me, but I'd like a hit to make this exciting for everybody watching. Calvin Schrawley, Joe My Joey Meyer, Sherman Corbett with the glasses, Charlie Lee, Ghosts. And these are cool. That's a cool one to get, a for the record Mattingly. And sticker. All right. Next, Luis Alisea, Brad Havens, Dwight Gooden, Needin Fjord, Odell Jones, did we ever see him? I don't know, Gary Thurman, yeah, Gary Thurman, now we're in the same cycle, Gary Thurman, Mackie Sasser, Mel Hall, oh boy, Murphy, Pasqua, Dravecki, Romine, Giraldi, for the record, wow, okay, that sucks when you get duplicate um, collations. Suter, Hall of Famer. Put him there. Felix Fermin. I've been pulling a lot of these. Well, that's cool. I will never get tired of pulling Griffies. Awesome. It's off center. That away. But dang. It's like the only hits I've been pulling out of these Fleer. I can't get the uh, F face error, but I should sure get a lot of Griffies. I'm not complaining. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's cool. Joe McGrain, Jody Reed, Fred Manrique, Keith Brown, McGaffigan, Mike Moore. That's a cool Will Clark card. I always like that one. Paul Gibson. Steve Sachs, Craig Worthington, Rafi Ramirez, and Sticker. All right, last 89 Fleer. We hit something. That's 
We had something better than last time, right? Yeah. I think we had more Hall of Famers last time, but I'd rather have that. Kelly Paris. Oh, these are miscut way to the top there. Alejandro Pena. A sticker in the middle of the pack. What? Did I do something weird? Everything's weird about this pack. Alejandro Pena and then... Um, yeah. What did I have? Did I not notice this? this weird. Okay, anyways. Trevor Wilson. Ernie Witt. Milt Thompson, Mike Gallego, Tony Gwynn, but wow, look at the cut on these. Yee. Luis Salazar, Doug Desenzo, wow. Eric Bullock, Dante, rookie, Robin Yount, Mark Gray, second year, and Quintana. Wow. Okay. Well, so far, this is better than the last time I opened all these exact packs, right? Because out of the the Topps Chrome, I got an autograph and a Shohei and an Ellie. So much better than the last one. I got a Griffey rookie, much better than the last one. So are we going to do a much better than the last one on this? Already, I mean, just the condition of the cards on front. I mean, all three of them are gradable, especially this McCormick. Look at this. Yes, it's a common, but come on. Look at the high grade sharp corners on that one. So I am excited that we will also do better on the 62 Christmas rack. Better than the last one we did. So this is the boring part. You guys go get some uh, a bowl of cereal or something while I'm doing this. Or you can just fast forward. Are you free? Nope. I always forgot. Was it? You know what? I have better success cutting across the tops or the bottoms on these. Look at the space on the bottom there. That's that's saying I should cut across there, but without cutting the McCormick. That's ay ay ay. Okay, let's just cut. All right. You know what? I'm making a mockery out of this. All right, let's just start from the side, sorry. Because last time I think I did like cut, I mean, it's just common and it was pretty low grade. So, but I did cut <laughs> a common. The last time I did this when I went across and I hit the center, uh, center pack. Well, this one's, this one's free already. So we will get this out. of this all right cool all right now this cell i wanted to come across the bottom because there's a lot more space to do so that is a gorgeous mccormick all right Okay, um, I want to look at this McCormick first. I want to look at this McCormick. All right, well, we know what's on back. I saw Barry Latman, right? So we're going to... No, Joe Klopp, he was whatever. But I I knew there wasn't stars in the back. Look at that. That is sharp. Come on. That's why it's worth opening. These are just sitting around. I mean, it's a little off-center, but... Look at these corners. That is a sharp, stinking card. Joe Cop, or Copy, not Clomp. That is a beautiful card. Okay. We are going to move some of these aside for some of the... Oh, we'll leave Griffey, but... Just off center, but that is gorgeous. All right, now we're going to see the McCormick. One's even more nicely centered. Good. That is just a little touch on this corner, but that's it's not bad. I mean, with the sharpness from the 
back on these. That's gorgeous. I am happy with this. I mean, this is almost grade worthy. I mean, so I have a shot at an eight for a 62 card and an eight. To me, that's worth grading. God, I mean, this is just, I mean, it's as sharp as a, as a newer card. That is awesome. I'm pleased with that. All right, and then we have a Al Schroll. It's got the weird white printing line. Um, it's still sharp, but off-center. Still a dang beautiful 62. Haywood Sullivan, another sharp card. Not as sharp as the first couple. A little bit more of a tipped corner there, but look at the rest of them. Just off center. It's gorgeous. Gosh, I love older cards and this nice of shape. All right. Uh, next cell. I'm going to pull the back card front because we already know that. That's the Latman that I saw on the back. It's a pretty crisp card. I mean, again, what are we looking at? Uh, 62 years old on these? Come on. Pretty. All right, Cloninger. God, that's crazy sharp too. Just little off center to the right. Look at those corners. Man, we're looking at you know seven-ish range on this one. I mean, these might, might all be worth grading. I mean. 1962s in, in high grade. I mean, they're all commons, but still. That's a beautiful card, too. What do we have here? Jim Pendleton. This is way off center, but I mean, I'm really pleased at the sharpness. Oh, we got a rookie down there. Forgot if they have high numbers in 62, but that's a, definitely a higher number, 432. All right, and then uh, Dom Zani. Wow, that's centered up the, a little off to the top, but just one corner that's just a little, a little iffy down there. Should hold something darker against the background of that. Or lighter. I don't know. How can you see the corner? There you go. Cool. Beautiful cards. I still got one cell to go. Hal Jones. On the back we had... Deron Johnson, I've heard that name. Off center, but crazy sharp again. I am, I'm shocked at the number of these guys, you know, out of these Christmas racks, you're gonna get some that are a little rougher shape. Um, but so, damn, these are sharp. Beautiful. All right, Hal Jones. I'll try not to see who's next. This one's sharp too. Look at that. Just 
it's just beautiful. I mean, holding something that was, you know, from so many years ago. Sam, oh, Roman, Mejias. This one's quite a bit off center. But pretty doggone sharp. Beautiful backs. And our last card is Hal Narragon. Man, just a hair off center to towards the top, maybe. I don't know. What do you think about the centering on that top to bottom and left to right? Is holy cow. Could you imagine getting a 10 on a 62? I mean, this is not a 10. I mean, there's gonna be something that holds it back, you know, just the slightest iffiness on the corners but good gosh look at this i mean just look at this just take a look at it overall just your initial glance i mean i'm gonna say at least eight on this it's got just a hair of a tilt cut i think if my eyes aren't playing tricks on me but look at these corners man this is a good pack a lot of high grade stuff oh this one's just Kind of bumped backwards just a little bit. You could see a little shadowing there. It's, but, man, beautiful. This was fun. These were good packs. I'm, I really enjoyed this rip. And uh, I hope you did too. We got a rookie. We got an autograph rookie. We got a, an Ellie. We got a, a Shohei. So, all good stuff. Thank you for watching. I will... Try to get these uh, rips and videos going uh, a little more frequently, as often as I can. But thank you, everybody, for your patience, your support, the comments, the thumbs-ups, the subscriptions. Have a good night.